Let's look at another defensive tactic in FTL. This one is really simple. We're just going to look at how you can optimize your use of cloaking against weapons that have a long cooldown. And again, we're using the Combat Sims mod to demonstrate. This enemy has a Flak 2, which has a 21 second cooldown. Now that is one second longer than the cooldown on our cloaking system, and therefore you can dodge this every single time. We just wait for it to fire. Eventually. Okay. Cloak, everything misses. And I'm now going to speed hack it with Cheat Engine just to speed things along a bit. And I can just keep doing this all day long. And we will never take damage. Now this enemy also has a flak too, but the critical difference is that they are manning their weapons. That means they get 10% charge time reduction. So the timing on this is now 18.9 seconds, which is faster than our cloak cooldown. And what we're going to do first is just cloak before it gets to our ship, very shortly before it gets to our ship, like that, and then see what happens on the next volley. Speed it along a bit. You see the flak is now fired before our cloak came off cooldown. And it's actually hitting us now. There we are. So all of those shots have now hit or missed before we had a chance to cloak, meaning we were only able to cloak one volley. There is a very simple way of doing better. What we'll do this time is cloak as early as possible. And uh, just to keep us entertained in the meantime, let's send our human on war keys. One, they need the exercise you see. Two, Three, four, five, and just about six. Now, you just saw that flak animate, which means we can cloak now. This is the best time to cloak, we're cloaking as early as possible. And then let's speed it up again. And we'll see that the flak is going to fire before our cloak is ready, but our cloak is almost ready. And again, we want to pause very carefully so that we hit the cloak as soon as it comes off cooldown. Now, what's effectively happening here is that every time that fires, it's getting closer to our ship. But because we started the cloak as early as possible, we can dodge three or possibly four volleys in this manner. Speed up, cloak, speed up, and the fourth one is really tight, oh, okay, didn't make it, depends on uh, mostly where it's aimed, so if that had been aimed at, say, weapons, and if it approached from over here, we might have been able to dodge it. All you have to do is cloak as early as possible to avoid the most volleys. Here's another example. This enemy has a breach missile, which fires at 22 seconds. So this is very similar to the example with the Flak 2. I'll just speed it up a little bit. Okay, so if we cloak at the last second, uh, then we're going to be able to avoid one or at most two missiles. Speed it up. And you see the missile hit, um, it hit as it was crossing the shield barrier before we were able to cloak. Um, remember this for the next demonstration because if I cloak now, even though I have 100% evade, it's still going to hit. It looks like it's going for my clone bay. Yep, there we go. With the weapon manning bonus, the actual time on the breach missile is 19.8 seconds, which is really close to our cloak cooldown. Uh, and therefore, if we time it exactly, then we can dodge a lot of missiles. Uh, at least 8 and as many as 10. Again, we're just going to wait until the missile is about to fire. Human can go walkies. 
sometime around now. Here we are. As soon as it lights up green, uh, it is firing, we can cloak, and by the way, that does apply to other weapons as well. So we dodge one missile. And again, we want to cloak as early as possible. Two missiles. Three. Four. See the missile is getting closer to us. It's on our side of the screen at least. Seven. Where is it? Eight. And the missile is just approaching from here. Now you can see it's just about to cross our shield barrier and our cloaking isn't quite ready. Uh, what we can do then is drop the shields. Now it's crossed the shield barrier but it's not calculated the uh, hit chance. Now we cloak at 100% evasion and that will miss at the target room which is cloaking. That's nine missiles. I'll put the shields up again just to demonstrate that one more time. Are you there you are and again it's just about to hit the shields we don't want it to calculate evasion yet and it's really close um, and this time it's clearly well inside the shield barrier um, by the time we cloak that's 10 if that had been going for doors um, then we wouldn't have been able to cloak it and we should not get this next one. Not sure if this is ever possible. Oh, it is. Okay, 11. I've never seen that. I'll have to edit the text in the mod. Definitely not getting the 12 one. we are, missed already, cloak is not on cooldown. Um, but just by cloaking as early as possible every time, we manage to dodge 11 missiles instead of one. You can also do this against a burst laser three, providing the enemy is not manning their weapons. Uh, again, if we wait until the last possible moment, we're only gonna be able to cloak one volley. So cloak now. Fine, I avoid those five shots. The burst laser is firing now and our cloak is not up. It is up for some of the shots. This weapon fires at uh, 19 seconds by the way. So we're just one second off from the 20 second cloak cooldown. This time we're going to hit it at exactly the moment it turns green. Cloaking now is the best time. And not only do we avoid all of this second volley, it can also help us a bit with the third volley. See, the cloak isn't ready yet. 
but it can uh, it can block two or maybe three of the shots. If we switch over to balance mod real quick, then we can see that this trick is a bit less effective because the burst laser three has been reduced to 18 seconds cooldown. We'll do it the same way. I've also switched to an NG Cruiser just to get the uh, most value out of this trick because the shield is very small. Come on. Eventually. There we are. Click now. And our cloak will not be up in time for this volley. Taking one shot to the shields. Really close. We are able to cloak the remaining three shots. We can do the same thing with an ion bomb. This 22 second cooldown is reduced to 19.8 seconds with the manning bonus. And this time I'm going to cloak at the last possible moment, uh, which incidentally is exactly when the bomb has fully disappeared. Just like that. And the loading tray is still out. So I'll raise my engines and cloak. But the next bomb is guaranteed to hit us if I drop my evasion. Cloaking will not be up in time. And you see the bomb has already landed. We can raise evasion and cloak, it's still going to hit. This time we're going to cloak as early as possible. Wait for it. And the earliest you can cloak is actually when the weapon lights up green. Exactly there. And by doing this, we will be able to cloak four bombs in a row. That's one. Two. Oops. And I messed up a bit on uh, the engines there, uh, but you can see that the loading tray is still out, so we are cloaking this early enough, and we will not be able to cloak the next one. it's already landed in the clone bay. And that's all there is to it. You're simply cloaking as early as possible to dodge the most volleys uh, when an enemy has a weapon that fires slightly faster than 20 seconds, which is your cloak cooldown. Now, there might be situations where you choose not to do this. Uh, perhaps an enemy has another weapon that you want to dodge at the same time, and that could affect when you choose to cloak. Uh, and in the next episode, we'll be looking at how you can reduce damage by manning your shields in certain situations.